Hey guys, today I am at home and I have put together a full body um, workout using resistance bands, which I have here, and then also resistance loops. The great thing about both of these um, pieces of equipment is that you can do it at home, you can take them to the gym and add them into your workout that you're doing, or you can take them on a trip or um, anywhere that you want to work out and get a nice workout in, full body, whatever you want to do um, on the go. Or like I said, in the privacy of your own home. So today I have these great resistance bands and they come with the handles. And these are three different uh, strengths. So there's a 20 pound, 30 pound, and um, a 40 pound. So meaning it's equivalent to lifting 40 pounds, 20 pounds, and 30 pounds. And then the resistance loops come in different resistance as well, light, medium, and heavy. So you can adjust those to um, what you need to use for each exercise. So today I'm gonna start off by working um, biceps and I am going to take us through a full body workout. Alright, so I'm going to start with my um, 40 pounds and I'm going to do biceps. And one thing that's important when you do these exercises is, so for your biceps you're going to put your feet on the resistance band and you can either lighten the resistance by putting your feet closer together or make it harder by moving your feet out. So you need to kind of figure out what's comfortable for you and what resistance you, you want and then you start your workout. So today, let's do, we're gonna be doing um, four sets of 12 reps. And another beauty thing about doing this at home is you can do more sets if you want, you can do less depending on your time. But for this workout, we're gonna be doing four sets of 12 reps of everything. So here we go with our, our biceps. And make sure you get a full range of motion. Don't just stop right here. Go all the way down, come all the way up. Okay, moving on to triceps. So triceps, I'm gonna use um, the same resistance band, but I'm gonna drop one of the loops and I'm just gonna use one foot to stand on. I'm gonna bring my arm up and make sure you have it in a good position and then just push. And make sure when you get to the top, you kind of pause, and really squeeze that tricep muscle. After you do your 12 on that arm, switch. And you can either keep your same foot on there or if it's more, if it's easier for you to do the same foot, same arm, go ahead and switch it out. Get that tricep up there and stretch. And the beauty about these things is you may not think you're getting a good workout, but, well, as my arm gets a little crazy, you are. It's a great, and again, if you need to lighten the resistance, move your foot over a little bit. It'll give you more um, of the band to work with, a little bit lighter. So if you need to do that, I did because my arm was getting a little crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to shoulders. So what I did was I changed my to a different resistance band. This one is the 30 pounds. And again, we're gonna step on the, on the band Either keep your feet wider or more narrow, depending on um, more or less tension that you want on the band. I'm going to spread mine out a little bit. We're going to do shoulder press. So come up and come down. Come up and down. All right, now I'm gonna move on to shoulders. And for this workout, I'm gonna use my 30 pound resistance band again. I'm gonna kind of hold the handles. And if you don't have handles, you can still just wrap your wrist around it. So just kind of wrap them like this and get the tension that you want so you can test it out. Um, if you want a little bit more tension, just kind of wrap one wrist at a time. And then we're gonna go and stretch. So really get that stretch, squeeze the back.
right, now we're going to move on to legs. So for legs, I'm going to use my resistance loops, and I have the heavy one here. We're going to use this to do our squats. So let's put your feet through it. It's better if you do this if you have actual pants on, but it's Arizona, it's hot. All right, so kind of stretch your uh, feet out about shoulder width apart. Make sure your knees don't go over the toes, and you're going to come down and up, down and up. Make sure you're squeezing through the glutes and the buns. Push up through your heels. And you'll definitely start to feel this in your quads. So now I'm going to work our um, abductor muscles, our outer thighs here. So I'm going to keep the same resistance band on around kind of the top of my knees. I'm going to get down on all fours here. You're going to take this leg, you're going to bring it out and come back in. Out and in. So the last exercise I'm going to do is going to be for our, our obliques. Um, I'm going to get a lighter resistance of my um, resistance loop. And again, I'm going to put my hands, kind of stretch this so it's, it's tight. Get up on your, on your toes. And then with this hand, we're going to turn to the left. And come back down. And you're really going to feel right through here 